I'm gonna tell you how to think like a big YouTuber so you can become a big YouTuber. And we're starting right now. This video is brought to you by Video Leap. Video Leap is a free mobile video editor that's super intuitive and easy to learn. With Video Leap, you can do anything from cutting and connecting clips to adding filters and keyframes and even editing in multiple layers, allowing you to do your video editing on the go. You can use Video Leap free, but with a pro subscription, you get access to even more pro functionality and access to extra filters, animations, text effects, and more. Personally, I use Video Leap on the go to quickly put together YouTube and Instagram stories because I love how easy and fun it is to use. You can even make full length YouTube videos with this. To try Video Leap for yourself, click the link below this video. A lot of people, when they're thinking about getting big on YouTube, they simply think, I need a lot of subscribers, I need a lot of viewers. Because that's how you get big, right? You gotta have a lot of subscribers and a lot of viewers in order to be deemed big. But how you think about what it is that you're doing can be the difference on if you're actually able to grow your YouTube channel or not. Story time. Back when I didn't have any subscribers, not one, back when I didn't have any views, zero, back before I knew any of the nuance about growing a YouTube channel, one of the things that I did know was, if I'm making a video, if I'm putting something out there on the internet, people have to get something out of what it is that they're watching from me. But what I didn't understand was how important it was to conduct myself like a bigger YouTuber on camera and off. Let me explain. When you're first starting out on YouTube, it's natural to go and just consume tons and tons and tons of content about how all this stuff works. And as a matter of fact, that might be why you are watching this video right now. But while you're consuming all this stuff, you're thinking, oh, I gotta get all this watch time. I gotta write good titles. I was good even mean? I gotta get people to watch my, what, how, what do you mean watch my videos for a long time? What's a long time? What does any of this even mean? All these people are talking about how important it is that my videos sound good, that my videos sound good. What is good? What is good? But all of this stuff that you gotta do, all of these tasks that you have to accomplish in order to get things moving on YouTube, they can fill your brain and put you on a hamster wheel of sorts. And consuming all of this stuff and being on that hamster wheel, it keeps us busy. And because we're busy, we think that we're doing something. I mean, we are, but what we are not doing is we are not looking at the big picture things. I'm talking about the stuff that'll actually move the needle for you. For example, what do people really want from me and what do I need to do to go about giving it to them? What am I even doing this for? I mean, why am I spending so much time making videos and uploading them to the internet? A year from now, what do I want all of this to look like? What do I want all of these efforts to turn into? And most importantly, what do I have to do or what do I have to have in place in order to actually make that happen? And it's okay. Hey, the reason that those thoughts are not there for a lot of people yet is because you haven't went through that initial part of just getting comfortable with what it is that you're doing here on YouTube. And it's okay not to be thinking those things yet. I mean, the reason that a lot of people don't think those things yet or that they don't start thinking those things for a while is because you haven't built the confidence in what it is that you're doing yet to believe that you can turn this YouTube thing into something. Here's what I mean, and it's story time again. Just like you, when I first started out on YouTube, I was watching channels like Daryl E. I was watching Tim Schmoyer back when he was with Real SEO. I was watching James Wedmore and Sonny Leonarduzzi. I was watching Gideon Shalwick and David Walsh and anybody that I could find online that was sharing some type of information about YouTube. I was watching everybody and I was watching, trying to figure out what task I should do next. Kind of like you might be watching this right now thinking, oh, well, I hope he says something that I can apply to my channel today and then my channel will start blowing up. But I wasn't looking at those important things like I listed before in terms in terms of why am I putting in all this effort? What is it that I want out of this? What could this possibly become? None of it. And because of that, I wasn't managing myself or my channel on the back end like a successful content creator. I was just making content that I wanted to make and that I thought that other people would like with the hopes of hopefully just grabbing some emails. That was as far as my thought process went. But here is where everything changed. I had someone who was successful on YouTube reach out to me and say, you're good at this, and I think that you'll be successful on YouTube. In that moment, how I looked at YouTube and how I thought about what I was doing on YouTube changed. In that moment, I went from a small YouTube channel to a successful YouTube channel, even though my subscriber and view count didn't change. Even though there were a few necessary detours on the journey, the thing that changed in my mind that made everything else possible was my perspective. Instead of thinking, which you might also be thinking that, yeah, I can turn this into something if I can get some videos to take off. I started thinking, 
I can figure this out. I can learn how to do this. My confidence increased, my purpose shifted, and I started thinking about everything that I was doing on YouTube differently. Instead of making videos and publishing them and saying, well, let's just see how this video does, I started paying attention to how people responded to the videos that I already had out there. I started organizing everything around my content, even like my folders for my video graphics and all of that. Like I was settling in for the long haul. My content choices started being focused on you and what it is that you want from my YouTube channel instead of being focused on just random content that I put out there for the sake of putting it out there. And I started thinking about things like, how can I add so much value to the people that are watching my videos that they'll want to keep coming back to my channel over and over and over again? Here's the thing. Bigger YouTubers understand and they think about the fact that they're making content for an audience. Bigger content creators are confident and it comes across clearly on camera that they're confident because they've gotten confirmation from going through the process of growing their channel, they've gotten confirmation that what they're doing is working and that it's good. But you can do that in reverse. When I had about 150 subscribers on YouTube, I didn't think that I would do well on YouTube. I knew that I would go through the process, I would go through whatever it took in order to get my channel working, in order to make this whole thing work out. Whatever process that would take me to, whatever additional things that I needed to learn, whatever skill sets that I needed to improve on, I knew, just like I know you can, I knew that I could figure it out. And don't get me wrong, I'm still on that journey. I'm still trying to improve. I'm still trying to deliver even more value to you. But here's the thing, when experienced creators publish videos, they still think, you know, gosh, I hope this video does well. Regardless of how the actual video performs, they know that they did everything they could within that content that the audience would enjoy. And from there, it really comes down to the nuance of exactly how well that video will do. But in addition to the mindset side of things, in terms of just thinking like, yeah, I can do this, I can turn this into something, that mindset also helps experienced creators network with other experienced creators. Experienced or successful content creators look into their stats at least from time to time so they can get a gauge on hey, is my audience, the people that are watching these videos, are they enjoying what it is that I'm putting out? They also continue to learn and evolve as they grow as a content creator. They invest in themselves and the equipment that they're using and educational courses and going to conferences, that sort of thing. People with bigger channels enjoy what it is that they're doing. I mean, it's obvious in the content. It is work, but it's enjoyable work. With successful content creators, they look at the audience and they appreciate the audience, not in a, I appreciate you for watching my content kind of way, but in a, how can I make something that the viewers are really going to love kind of way. But most importantly, successful content creators believe in themselves and they believe in their ability to learn and apply what it is that they learn and to go through the sometimes lengthy process of growing a successful YouTube channel. But I have a question for you. Are you willing to believe in yourself? Are you willing to believe that you can go through a process, a system that a bunch of other content creators have went through and created successful channels from? Will you create the confidence within yourself to say, yeah, you know what? I can take this seriously. I can handle this stuff in a more professional way so that I can be doing all of this and investing all of this time for something. I know you can do it. There's examples of people all over YouTube, successful channels all over YouTube from people from different races, different backgrounds in terms of where they grew up, different age groups, different educational levels, different social statuses, different abilities. You just have to decide. You have to take a stand against that inner voice that's inside of you that's leaning everything that happens on YouTube on luck. You have to dedicate to making it happen. And you can, I'm rooting for you. Everything that you're doing and all of the results that you're getting can change just by changing the way that you think. To learn more about growing your YouTube channel, click into this playlist right here. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.